Good morning, noon or night. My name is Jet, and welcome to my channel, JITV and JITV2. So this is going to be about trying to give people a comprehensive understanding for the nature of reality and what is happening in Earth. Okay, so the example would be, as a parent, if your child is doing something dangerous or hurtful or anything like that, is it loving or not loving to correct their behavior? Okay. Do we correct people's behavior because we don't love them and we hate them and we're mean? So this is another thing. Many less people are having children and they're not going to necessarily come to this understanding as easily as if they were a parent themselves. Okay. So once you become a parent, you have a total different understanding for lots of different things. And so that is one of them. You don't correct your children because you hate them. You don't, you don't do that. You're trying to keep them safe or this, that, or the other. And so that's a, a very important understanding because that's what God is doing to all of us. Okay. In the long term, okay, anyone who knows love, anyone who ha has the capacity for love is of love, of God, the most high God that came here in the form of Jesus. Okay. So if you know what love is, then you are going to be refined. Okay. Refined means it's going to burn off the impurities that you have. This goes back into every other video that I've had. Okay. About our mind and our body, they go in opposition to love, which is God, which is holiness. Okay. That is perfect. God and love and holiness, it's perfect in ways that we can't even imagine because we're in this condition. We, we can only, we only, we have a normalcy bias to be in these kinds of minds and these kinds of bodies. It's so hard to understand what perfect love would even be like because this is what it comes down to. I've been trying to do, give a working, rec, uh, working definition of what sin actually is. And my last channel, and since the past year, I have tried to re redefine sin in a not trigger, triggerable way. Okay, our language has been subverted. So can't say sin or transgressions or all these different things because so many people have been damaged and hurt and manipulated and all these things by people who use those terms because the churches are infiltrated 501c3s, okay? It's hard for people to wrap their brain around, but they are not they are not teaching to be like Jesus. They're not saying, "Hey, you have to if you if you want to have a good life, if you want to have the gifts of the spirit, if you want to have joy, peace, contentment, kindness, self-control, peace, patience, um, orderliness, if you want to have all of those things, then you yourself have to try to be like Jesus." Okay? That's the whole gist of it. People now, they're, they're not going to give you that message because people hate that message. People reject that message because they want to do whatever their mind and their body want them to do. Especially when our whole society is rewarding people for simply functioning from their minds and their bodies and not their spirit life force energy of love. If the people who were controlling earth were functioning from a place of love, okay, Every single system here would collapse. There would be no more systems operating if it was functioning from love, which is perfectness and holiness and godliness, okay? But we are in a fallen, less than perfect condition, okay? Making us what they call a sinner, okay? Our mind and our body naturally operate against godliness and love because of the condition that we're in okay it's like i've done this before it's like it's like we got a virus in the system okay so if you had a computer and it got a virus and it was doing things it's not supposed to do wouldn't you want to fix that wouldn't you want that virus fixed out of your computer for it to function correctly so that's what's happening with these kinds of minds and bodies. It has a virus. The virus is called sin, okay? It's making us do 
all these different things that are in direct opposition to love, which is what we want. Love and God and goodness and all those things. These minds and these bodies want to go against it. We don't need to be embarrassed or ashamed or guilt. We don't need any of those things. That was the whole purpose of Jesus. We cannot we cannot overcome that because it's the natural state of our mind and our body. Okay, We try to, but you have to have Jesus to do it. Okay, You have to have Jesus come to bring the Holy Spirit, which is the frequency and life energy of love and life. Okay, It's, it's the lifeline. There's the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. There was no Holy Spirit indwelling in people before Jesus. Now we have the opportunity for the Holy Spirit to indwell in 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 us as love loving love individuals, souled individuals. We have a soul. We have the breath of God animating us, okay? We have a virus currently and it's making us do all kinds of things that is is anti-love and it's ruining it's ruining our lives. So that's the last thing I'm going to say. I'm trying to make some of these quicker. So we have this virus as humans that make us go against love and function in op opposition to it. Okay. We have to accept that and understand that we need the Holy Spirit. We need something to help us overcome these things okay that we can't do it simply with our own mind and our body we need to understand and come to the saving knowledge of what god and jesus holy spirit all of that is we need uh we need to understand that we can't do it of our own mind and power we need to understand that Everything that we've ever known and all of these different things are functioning on a human, a man, a man um, perspective. Okay? Our own, our logic and our emotions are human in a fallen state. Okay? Many people can look around and you can see how these people are being manipulated and these people are being manipulated and all these different people are believing little lies. But we can't understand that we are believing lies too. The only way to overcome any lie is with the truth, okay? And Jesus said he was the truth, the way, and the life, okay? You got to get the Holy Spirit. You have to do what Jesus did. It, everything that Jesus said and everything that he did is what is righteous and right and loving and holy. Okay? Those are all the things that will perfect us. You will be perfected. That's the nature of this. If you know love, you're going to be perfected. Therefore, God's going to burn. let Satan burn some things off of you. Okay? If you are lustful, and greedy and all of those things okay this goes back to the chastening of the children right if you're lustful and greedy and all those things but you know you can't you can't go to the to the new earth there's no sin there's no anti-love in the new refreshed earth then it needs to come off it needs to be burnt off of you it needs to go away and i can speak this i've had so many things that very 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 painfully have and, and continuing to do so because nobody's done. It's it's something that's always happening. I like like pop. I can't I can't. I, you know, it's very very subtle and very very sneaky. These things. Okay, like I knew cigarettes had to go, and I knew all these different things had to go. I'm having a hard time with pop, and I know it's poison, and I am very aware of that, and I'm still having a really hard time with it. And I think that I probably need to fast, and I've never fasted, um, and I think I'm going to have to do that. I think I'm down to the point to where I'm, I'm going to have to do that. I have chronic pain, so I use supplements, and I'm, I've been putting that off for quite some time to try and fast, because I don't know if I can do it. But we're going to find out, because, like I said, there's some things that still need... To come off all of the anti-love and all of the sin has to go it cannot go to the new place 
So it is a loving thing. So like we're being invited to a beautiful new earth where there's no greed, lust, envy, all of these things, streets of solid gold and all of these things. We're being invited to that. But we cannot show up as we are in these kinds of minds and bodies. And if you are not willing to let go of those portions of you, then you cannot go to the new place. You, this has to fall off. All the anti-love has to fall off. And you have to understand that you are functioning against God and against love when you are functioning from your mind and your body. Okay, You have to choose with your free will to to try to be like Jesus. Okay, Nobody's perfect. That's the whole thing. And lots of people will try and tell you that. Like, you can't do that. You can't do that. Blah, 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 blah. Well, you sure can try. And we were meant to be overcomers. We may not be perfect. And we may still need our glorified bodies. But we can sure try to shine our light as bright as possible. Once you understand that when you shine your light and other people light up, it makes them healthy and happy and strong. Okay, Not shining your light makes them discouraged and selfish and angry and bitter okay people are going to hate you one way or another people are going to hate you so do you want to be hated do you want to be hated for shining your light and being bright or do you want to be hated secretively by people that are like clicky and they want to uh, they want to pretend to invite you and not really actually like you okay the only true real option the truth the way the life is to function excuse me just like like Jesus the best that you can and uh, to choose love to understand that we are not functioning from love to understand that love is perfect and holy and everything that we want and we are allowing our minds and bodies to drive us into the ground away from what we actually truly want and that there's no way we get into the new earth while we're still holding on to greed and lust and envy. All of those things have to fall off. And it's how awesome would that be? And people can't even think about if the world was functioning without any of that, without any anti-love, without death, without anything like that, what it would be like. And it would be literally perfect. Okay. So if you want, if you if you can see the potential in that and come to any kind of understanding about that. You try and do it while you're here and in these bodies. That's just, that's what you got to do. And so I'm going to call that good. And uh, I have an appointment. So with that much love, many thanks. And I love you. Thank you.